Welcome back. My name is Jessica D. Perez. I'm a plein air painter painting in the open air. Follow me as we adventure out in the field. Nothing like a good cup of coffee. It was so darn early because I wanted to see that sunrise. And I don't know what to expect because every morning when I would go out and watch the sunrise with my coffee, sometimes it would be just a nice light that came in and sometimes it would be just this absolutely gorgeous scene. And that's what I really enjoy about sunrises and sunsets is you just, you don't know what you're going to get. And the light changes so fast. So when I set up, the first thing I wanted to do is capture this gorgeous transition that I was getting and I had to have my light post on because it was still too dark to paint without it. Standing outside of my balcony, it's brisk and I can hear the crickets and I can see these clouds coming in and I wanted to capture the contrast of those clouds, those purple gray color against the beautiful pinks and greens that were coming in and the direction of the clouds. I mean, that right there is usually what catches my attention the most. I wanted the majority of the composition to be the sky. So I brought the tree line down far enough where it wasn't in the middle. It was far enough down where the sky was majority of the scene. I've been so busy with different jobs that painting time has dwindled down to very short windows and those short windows means I have to get to the point fast. I have to really understand what my painting priorities are going to be when I set to canvas. My priority was the backlit sky with the direction of the clouds and the colors and then the composition and I thought I was done. I think it was only 30 minutes in and I thought, you know what, this is great. I really love the movement and I really love the color. So I went and I made myself another cup of coffee. And then sure enough, the sky just lit up on fire. It was amazing. And I don't know how to replicate this fire color. It's such a difficult color to make. Well, I also happen to have some fluorescent acrylic in my bag <laughs> and I haven't used it before. So I went ahead and I mixed it in with what I was using previously. That morning sunrise, it took me by surprise a lot more than I thought it would and I'm so glad that it happened because I've learned sort of a new way to use color and I also got to it fast enough. When I'm impatient and I have time crunches, I really learned how to prioritize what I put down on my canvas. And another way you can do that for yourself is to set a timer. Give yourself 20 minutes to make something happen. You can start with 50 minutes and then work your way down to 30 minutes and then work your way down to 20 minutes. And it's amazing what you learn and what you end up prioritizing. So if you enjoy watching my videos, I highly suggest that you hit that like button, the subscribe button, make a comment, and please share this video. I'd love to hear from you. And if you are an artist and would like to come out and paint with me, come visit and I'll showcase you right here out in the field.